This is 5 things you should know about Xiaomi 11T Pro. It is a pretty mid-season flagship with very fast charging and stellar cameras, but it lacks some details almost in every spec. And now let's delve into it, shall we? Thing number one, price. Xiaomi 11T Pro, and yes, it's 11T Pro, not me. Me will be no more, at least on international markets. So 11T Pro will be priced about 7 or 800 bucks in two memory variants, which is important because phone does not support microSD expansion slot. And yes, 700 bucks sounds like somewhat cheap for a Pro phone, but it is a mid-season flagship and it shows. Thing number two, almost no surprises. 11T Pro has absolutely nothing breakthrough inside it. Everything is pretty much previous gen. Good, but not astonishing. Snap 888, not a plus model. RAM up to 12 gigs, ROM up to 256. 6.67 inch AMOLED screen, 120 Hz with 480 for sensor layer. Supports DC dimming, but only for 60 Hz mode. Body is glass with some nice polished metal texture and olefobic clothing. Yes, that's not gradient, but for someone who hates gradients, it will be just fine. And let me get this straight. 11T Pro is a good phone. It's just not phenomenal. But MIUI 12 is. Concurrent phone version is 12.5.10, Android 11 based. It looks, feels, controls and abides amazingly. Has a lot of options and Xiaomi promised 3 years of new Android versions for 11T and T Pro phones. Thing number 3. Cameras. Base module is 108 megapixel Samsung ISO Cell HM2. It can work in two modes, and 108 megapixel one is very useful in outdoors, captures a lot of details, and has very nice natural color and post processing. 12 megapixel mode is more useful indoors, it is more aggressive but still looks nice. Night mode and HDR are nice too. Super wide module is great and the micro camera is amazing. It has autofocus, it can capture videos and is supported both in pro photo and video mode. Main module also supports 8K, capture in log, super wide 21 by 9, focus picking and more good pro stuff. Thing number 4. Charging. 120 watts are enough to fill battery from 3 to 55% in 10 goddamn minutes and it's crazy fast and which is cool 120 brick comes in a box however be careful xiaomi uses the same charging protocol as mi 11 ultra and needs special cable not type c to type c but type a to type c one but if you have power banks like xiaomi pro on 200 watts it can charge Xiaomi 11T Pro with 120. And besides, battery life is great. 5000 mAh are just enough to go 7 hours in PCMark battery test on full brightness and up to 12 on a half brightness. Thing number 5. 9 out of 10. Xiaomi 11T Pro feels almost like excellent phone, but with some pieces missing here and there. And yes, they are small, but there's a lot of them. Screen almost perfect, with a little lack of brightness. SOC is flagship, but from previous year. Main camera is excellent, but it has no optical stabilization. Charging speeds are very fast, but there is no wireless charging support. Audio is excellent stereo with Dolby Atmos support, but without mini jack. Memory is almost enough, but you cannot use memory cards. Even the glass body is excellent, but has no IPX rating, it's just splash proof. In total, Xiaomi 11T Pro is a stellar good phone. Almost to a fault, because in every nook and cranny you can find one small but lacking thing. Everywhere. This is a flagship for a simple man, in need of good, powerful and batteryful machine. Boring, yes, but sustainable and efficient. Mid-season flagship, simply good. And that's it for me. And what about you? Do you like some boring phones like this one? Write in the comments below. And that's it for me. And you? 
write in the comments below is this phone boring or simply good for you and if you would like to support my work please visit my patreon in the description below even a dollar per month will be just enough but even like subscribe and notification bell icon would be awesome youtube loves it and it helps us make new videos my name is Denis Zaychenko with the Root Nation channel and see you next time